welcome of the Avala Mice faculty in Mosan education. So today we are going to discuss even and odd function which is very very important. So first of all I will discuss here what is called even function. What is called even function. A function f of x, a function f of x is said to be, is said to be even, even if, if f of minus x equals to f of x for all x belongs to R. So, what is the meaning of this f of x equals to minus f of minus x equals to f of x for all for all x belongs to r. Now, see this here I am going to take example first example is f of x equals to x square. Okay, so I am going to consider a function f of x equals to x square. Okay, now see this here instead of x what we have to put means minus means minus of f x. So, I am putting here instead of x minus x. So, what we will get here? Instead of x, what we will put? Minus x whole square of this. So, we will get here x square. Now, you can notice one thing here. This one is x square. So, what is the value of this? f of x. So, the, here we are getting same. So, instead of this, we can write this one f of x. So, f of minus x equals what we are getting here? This one is f of x. So, see this here. So, we can say this one f of minus x equals to f of x. So, we can say this is even function means either we are going to substitute positive or negative we are getting same function so it is even function second example suppose here f of x, f of x equals to mod of x mod of x okay so instead of x i am going to put minus x so minus mod of x and we know that this one is positive always positive so we will get here f of x okay and you can notice one more thing one thing here see this here f of minus x equals to mod of x so this one is f of minus x equals to and what is this mod of x you can say this one here see this now actually f of x equals to mod of x value is f of x so we can put instead of this here so f of x again you can say this is even function means when we are going to substitute instead of x minus x then we are getting same function it means this is a even function okay now we are going to discuss some trigonometry function like f of x equals to cos x cos x okay so i am going to put minus x here so what you will get here cos of minus x and we know that cos of minus theta minus cos sorry plus cos theta so we will get here cos x f of minus x equals to okay now see this here f of minus x equals we will get here this one cos x what is the value of cos x here f of x so we are going to substitute this value this one value okay so again same thing see this here when we are going to substitute instead of plus x we are going to put here minus x then we are getting same function f of x means after substituting negative we are getting positive f of minus x equals to we are getting f of x it means this is a even function now we are going to discuss graph of this function y f of x equals to y x square or you can think in this way also if you put here one so one is minus if you put here minus one so f of minus one equals to one minus one square one if you are putting neg any negative value then you will get positive so you can say this is even function now what is the graph of graph of x square x axis this one is y axis we know that upward parabola graph of this is x square so graph of x square is this one y equals to x square and you can notice one thing here this graph is symmetric about y axis okay y axis either in first quadrant or second quadrant or you can say third so this one is first quadrant this one is in this one is second quadrant okay so this graph is symmetric about symmetric about y axis y x what is the graph of mod x so we know that v shape graph of mod x is v shape this one is x this one is y okay i have already dis discussed in modulus function so this is the graph of y equals to mod x so you can observe one thing here this graph is also symmetric about origin okay what is the graph of cos x so we know that cos x graph 
this is x axis this is y axis so cos x graph is this one in this way it is going okay now see this here so again if you observe this one so you can say this graph is symmetric about y axis either in first or second quadrant or third in fourth so see this one is first and second quadrant symmetric about y axis this one is third and fourth okay but this anyhow this is symmetric about or is, this is symmetric about y axis now we are going to discuss what is called odd function what is called odd function what is called odd function see this here same condition but only little change is there odd function o equality odd function okay now see the a function f of x is said to be odd odd if f of minus x equals to minus f of x minus f of x means instead of x when we put minus x and we are getting function with negative f of minus x equal to we are getting minus f of x then we can say this is odd function how i am going to explain with example suppose here f of x equals to x f of x equals to x okay now i am going to change this function instead of x i am going to put minus x so what we are getting minus x okay minus x so see this here f of minus x equals to if you observe this one so x value what is the value of x f of x so instead of this i can put this one here okay so minus f of x and if you observe this one so you can say this value and this value both are same means it is satisfying the condition of odd so we can say this is odd function now i am going to take one more example here f of x equals to f of x equals to x cube same here f of minus x equals to minus x cube so wherever x is there put minus x so we are getting minus x to f of minus x equals here minus x cube minus of x raised to the power three what you get minus x cube and we know that this one x cube value what is what we uh, already here given f of x means we have already considered so this one is minus f of x okay now again same condition see this when we are putting instead of plus x minus x here we are putting so we are getting function with negative means f of minus x equals to minus f of x so we can say again this is odd this is odd okay now next we can take some trigonometric function like f of x equals to sin x okay instead of x we will put minus x then we will get minus then we will get here sin of minus x and we know that sin of minus theta minus sin theta so we will get here minus sin theta okay and if if you notice one thing here so you can say minus this one is sin theta value here sin x value what is sin x value f of x so i am going to substitute this value f of x so again this is satisfying the condition of odd function so we can this is also sin x is odd function so you can remember cos x and cos uh, cos x and sec x is the odd, odd even function and here sin x sin x cosec x tan x and cot x is odd function okay so uh, f of x equals to x this one so what is the graph of f of x we can see the graph with the help of graph see this here f of y equals to uh, you can say this one is y y equals to f of x equals to x so we know that a straight line passing through origin this one is y equals to x okay so if you notice one thing here this graph is symmetric about origin see this this graph is suppose this one is origin so this graph is symmetric about origin okay next x cube so we know that graph of x cube this one is x axis and this one is y axis now see this here graph of x cube is this one again same thing if you observe this one so you can say this graph is symmetric about origin what is the graph of sin x so we know that graph of sin x is graph of sin x is graph of 
sin x is like this okay now again same thing you can notice one thing here this graph is symmetric about origin this is x axis this is y axis so this graph is symmetric about origin okay so our next heading is nano function nano means neither even nor odd neither even nor odd okay so a function f of x f of minus x a function f of minus x is not satisfying is not equal to both condition a function is there okay instead of x when we are putting minus x and we are getting f of x means we are not getting f of x and we know that if instead of x when we put minus x then we will get f of minus x equals to f of x then it, this is the condition of even but this is not satisfying even condition okay and we know that what is the condition of odd f of minus x equals to minus f of x this is the condition of odd okay but this is not satisfying this is not satisfying even and odd then this is called nano function what is the example of this example of this is e raised to the power x a raised to the power x log x these are the examples means exponential functions or you can say logarithmic function are the example of uh, nano function means this function e raised to the power x e raised to the power x log x these, these are the called these are called nano function means neither even nor odd you can check this okay now we are going to discuss some important note here some important note note first point what is the first point the graph of the graph of even function the graph of even function is always always symmetric about symmetric about y axis about y axis either in either in first and second or third and fourth third and fourth what is the meaning of this means the graph of even function even function is always symmetric about y axis okay either in first and second or third and fourth quadrant quadrant okay now see this what is the meaning of this we know that y equals to cos x this is the graph of y equals to cos x this is even function so i am going to draw the graph of cos x okay and you can see this is symmetric about y axis this is the graph of cos x okay this is x axis this is y axis this is the graph of cos x and you can observe one thing here this graph is symmetric about y axis this one is first quadrant this one is here second quadrant this is this graph is symmetric about y axis either in first and second this one is fourth and this one is third here okay so this graph is symmetric about y axis either in third and fourth okay so i hope you are getting this what is the second point second point is the graph of the graph of odd function odd function is always symmetric about origin about origin in opposite quadrant in opposite quadrants quadrants that is one and third or second second and fourth now see this what is the meaning of this the graph of odd function the graph of odd function is always symmetric about origin in opposite quadrants that is first and third and second and fourth what is the meaning of this series i am going to explain with graph so what is the graph of what is the graph of odd function tell me so i am taking here y equals to sin x we know that y equals to sin x is a this is odd function so i am going to draw graph of sin x x axis y axis what is the graph of sin x graph of sin x is this this is the graph of sin x now you can observe one thing here this graph is symmetric about origin this is G <coughs> origin so this graph is symmetric this one is first quadrant this one is third either either in 
अपोजिट क्वाड्रेंट आइदर इन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड और सेकंड एंड फोर्थ दिस वन इज सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट दिस वन इज फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट सी दिस वन दिस ग्राफ इज सिमेट्रिक अबाउट ओरिजिन 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 ओके बट सेकंड एंड अपोजिट डायरेक्शन अपोजिट क्वाड्रेंट सेकंड एंड फोर्थ हेयर 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 फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड ओके सो आई होप यू आर गेटिंग दिस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन एग्जाम्पल है Now, after I will finish this year. Y equals to, or you can say f of x equals to log of one plus sine x divided by one minus sine x. Okay, and we need to check this graph is odd, even, or nano. Nano. We need to check this one graph. So see this. It's very simple. What is the process? We know that. Instead of x, we'll put minus x. So instead of x minus x, so we will get here one plus sine of minus x. One minus sine of minus x. Okay. Now see this here. So we'll get here. See this log of one plus sine of this one. Okay. So we know that sine of minus theta minus sine theta. So we can write here one minus. Sine x divided by here minus minus plus one plus sine x. Now we can take reciprocal of this. We can take reciprocal of this. So I am writing here one plus sine x divided by one minus sine x raised to the power minus one. We can write in this way. Suppose we have suppose here x is there, one by x is there. So we can take reciprocal in this way. X raised to the power minus one. Simple. We can take numerator. Then we can write in this way. Okay. The, in the same way, I am writing here. So f of minus x equals to one property. We know that in log, log m raised to the power n is there, and base is a. So we can write this power is in number, na? So we can take this power before the log. Okay. Before the log, means we can multiply n into log m to the base a. So we are applying this property here. So see this here. Minus power raised to the power one plus sine x divided by one minus sine x raised to the power minus one is there. So we can take before the log. So minus log one plus sine x divided by one minus sine x. Okay. And you can observe one thing here. This one f of minus x, f of minus x equals to minus. This one is log one plus sine x divided by one minus sine x. We have already considered. See this here. This one is given already. This is f of x. So I am going to put here instead of this. Okay. So actually, this condition actually this is satisfying the condition f of minus x equals to minus f x. It means this is odd function. Odd function. Okay. So whenever we want to check a function is even given function is odd or even in this way. So what we will do instead of x, we will put minus x after.